Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shraddha Desh Pandey, your beauty BFF. I hope that the universe has been treating you with immense number of blessings. And I really hope that your manifestations comes to life sooner than expected. So I've been really positive in the past few days. The first product is the Max Stroke Cream. And this is a hydrating and it is an illuminating cream. So this is not... I would say this is more than a stroke cream but it's also it's not like an illuminating primer I would say it's just a cream with which has you know uh, which has these illuminating shimmers in it and it is immensely hydrating for your skin so for example if there are these days where you end up skipping skincare which I do not recommend or you're very dry and you know you just want that dewy glowy kind of feel on your skin and you just want something really natural then this product is it you can see on my hand as i've applied it how illuminating this product is and except for that the thing is that the shimmer in is the shimmer that is there in this particular product is really really faint so it's not that tacky and it's not overly pigmented and this is this this particular product now this is in the shade pink light so they have around four to five shades. They have, I think, pink light, gold light, silver light, I think, and even red light. I'm not sure. And they have peach light as well. So it differs from skin tone to skin tone. And you can just pick up whichever one is suitable for your skin tone. I use the one pink light because I really like it. And it's so dewy. And it's and the best part about this is that even though it's really hydrating onto your skin, it's non-sticky. The next product is the Dior's Backstage Glow Face Palette. I understand that this is a really high-end luxury face palette but honestly this even though it causes a bone in your pocket but this is gonna last you for a very long time and they have around I think they have around two shades I'm not sure they have I picked this up because they have three to four different shades in this but they also have another gold palette as well so I really like this palette because see it has like four different shades it has gold it has a really light peachy gold and it has and it has this light apricot gold and it has a pink gold as well. So this palette suits my skin tone a lot and it's super pigmented like you know you and it's really customizable even though it's really pigmented you can see just one swipe of this particular product is enough but it's super blendable as well. So if you try to blend it it's going to blend in very seamlessly and you won't even realize that there's highlighter on your face. So this is why I like this palette a lot that it is super resilient, it's super blendable, it's durable as well. Now the next staple products that I will purchase in the blink of an eye is the Max Retro Matte Lipsticks, be it in the bullet form or be it in the liquid form. Lipsticks were like the first transfer proof lipsticks I have ever used in my life. Even though it's in a bullet form, usually lipsticks in the bullet form are not long lasting and they're not transfer proof at all. But the Max Retro Matte Lipstick is transfer proof and the better, better version of it is the Liquid Retro Matte Collection. But honestly speaking, there are, there are many other variations in the market right now, especially when it comes to liquid lipsticks. They are transfer proof, but honestly, these lipsticks from MAC are like staple. When it comes to an affordable foundation, the K-Beauty's Hydrating Foundation is my go-to foundation currently. I recently purchased this foundation like a couple of months back. But this foundation is a really, really great foundation, especially if you're looking out for like, you know, that typical natural glowy makeup. This is a hydrating foundation and it's a natural finish foundation. But for even a, even for a natural finish foundation, it has amazing hydration and it's and the formula is so creamy. It's so hydrating. You don't even feel like there's foundation on your face and it's super lightweight. It's really blendable. And I have been using this foundation like almost on a daily basis, especially when I want to go out for interviews or if I just have like a brunch with my friends and I really want my skin to look natural, dewy. So the only downside I did not like about this foundation is that it has very limited shade range. So even for me, I picked this up in the shade 140p, which is 140 pink medium undertone. How creamy this foundation is and how glowy it looks on my hand. And honestly speaking, yes, I know that and from the overall shade range, this is the only one I could find really close to my skin tone. The product I have is the Huda Beauty's Overachiever Concealer. Now this is a liquid concealer and this is the best concealer, especially if you want to do those really, really long 
lasting makeup looks this concealer doesn't crease and on top of that i think it's a it's a high coverage creamy concealer so and i must say when it comes to high coverage even one dot of this concealer is just going to cover up all your dark spots all your under eye you know if you have under eye bags if you have dark circles everything just everything and it works even without a corrector honestly speaking this is the best part about this concealer i have Next up we have the L'Oreal's Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in powder. Now this particular powder is so so durable. It's really resilient and you can and it's actually and it's actually really versatile honestly speaking. You can use this anyhow anywhere however you want it. Like if you really want to just you know if you just want to set your concealer you can use it to use it for that as well and if there's a day where you where you haven't applied foundation and you want full coverage on your face then this particular product will do the deed even if it's a powder foundation honestly speaking it has amazing amazing coverage only limitation i have with this product is that this particular product comes with a very limited shade range on nika i'm not sure on mintra if this particular product is available because even when i got it i got it like a bit lighter than when it comes to eye shadows next up is the elfs liquid metallic eye shadow i must say that these eye shadow liquid eye shadows are super pigmented even though they are so less like they come in this tiny uh bottle i would say but you can see how pigmented this eye shadow is it's one of the most pigmented eye shadows liquid pigmented eye shadows i've ever seen and even though after blending as well you can see how pigmented it is it's really really creamy and no matter how much i blend it it still doesn't lose its shine i would say next up is the makeup revolution fix and glow dewy finish with shimmer yes i really like shimmers i love soap creams and i really like shimmery makeup so yes this is bound to be one of my favorite fixing sprays and i actually use it more to set my makeup like after i apply the foundation and concealer if you guys have watched my other videos as well you will see that i use it to set my makeup and so it's a dewy finish spray this particular spray stays on your face and sets your makeup like magic on it so if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to watch these two videos as well and i will see you guys in another video